Hello everyone, I'm Kako Kursi. Welcome back to my channel. Um, since yesterday, I show you the Jade Tsung as a, a heavy duty piece. Um, today we go easy. Uh, we look at this uh, small pendant and go over with our four point uh, checkup um, system. Uh, I don't know the code system or not. That's the formula I put it together. Um, because since I get interested uh, into the study of ancient Greek philosophers, I realize our world, our modern world, um, was built around the kind of a formula in every field. Um, like uh, mathematics, we build on our foundation and uh, one plus one. And uh, so far, going from there, we go to high school, math, whatever, far beyond that. And for ancient jade, uh, people don't know where to study. Uh, they think it's too ancient, too difficult. Uh, actually, it's not that difficult at all. Um, so I put it together the four point check, uh, like a, a formula to study it with the Asian Jade study. Just think about it as a car. Um, we all of us drive cars, but seldom a few of us know how the car working, how to repair cars. Um, I, I know nothing about the car, but I can drive the car to anywhere I want. Same idea with this uh, four point check on the Asian Jade. It's just a formula, a car for you. As soon you get uh, Get along well with this checking point. Uh, know what you should look for. Mm, just like you can drive a car, you can go anywhere, you can do on your own. So let's uh, go over this. Uh, first one, we started with the jade material. You know, this kind of green, dark green dish jade is a typical kind of jade from a local Hongshan place. Uh, although scholars suggest this kind of a dark green jade, uh, they say it might came from a Russian side. Uh, they find out the uh, ancient mine in Russian, some lake side, mm, has this kind of mines. We don't know how they travel so far, reached China. Anyway, this kind of jade, we already saw a bunch of them before. Like uh, this guy I showed you before. It's a, with a geometry, beautiful geometry side. Mm, this shape. This is the jade material. Basically same with this guy, dark green. Mm, with a lot of black floating inside. This one for the stain wise is easy for you to see. You see uh, this part, this part. Someone called this like a ice crack. You see the layers, layers of ice inside. This kind of stain is very ancient one, but I have to be aware not all Asian jade has this kind of stain. You are lucky you have this easy to see, mm, but every stain on the jade is different because of their surrounding condition they have been for the last uh, thousand years. It's just different. If you just remember one this stain to identify Asian jade, uh, it's okay for the beginner. You stick with what you know and start there, you go deeper. Um, again, this is now the old jade, Asian jade has this kind of stain. So we covered uh, 
and the materials then and the, the shape and this kind of uh, holes connected by the sections actually is a typical Hongshan people preferred a shape mm. although in the southern part later on they have a similar uh, but this one from this craftsmanship is a premier character um, we still think this belong to Hongshan place so when we look at it as a craftsmanship you need to know uh, how the jade was made um, ancient jade study is not that difficult at all as long as you want to ask questions ask the jade how this guy down there how you were made if we put ourselves back to let's say five six thousand years ago in Hongshan region what we got there you think about yourself as one of them how you would make this jade piece um, I, I think that will answer you will find the answer soon so let's say this piece is very unusual I want to put on here as you notice they have when they dig holes because they don't have metal tools it's really not easy for them to grab on the jade especially in the first beginning you will see those kind of chisel in they, they go through the trouble to grab on the jade those kind of thing you will see on the holes and then when they grab it in later it will become easier but the first the fuel strike is really hard to get your hands on jade you see this part is deeper and that's for the mega hole for the notches they use the same tool to grow in this way uh, you will see the lines here and also I want to mention you will notice for Asian the Jade um, probably they made on purpose one side it seems thicker and the one side is slightly thinner so in another way to say the Jade is not really flat is kind of twisted a little bit and this side is thicker wider here and this end the same your finger when you touch it your finger will tell you the difference uh, that's another trick to learn asian the jade you gotta touch the general thing mm, your finger really tell the difference even you won't see them by your eyes and also you will notice there's a lot of lines here that's the kind of tool mark is very uh, rare you see on Hongshan jade because they really polish the, their jade very well they polish away all those uh, tool marks we seldom see them on jade but this one is a good example lab gave us to a hint how they were made you see the slightly curved this curved line is indicate they are using a uh, wire to this way mm, shake shake to grow away this jade material make it into this shape so when they grow the very deep with the sand they left those uh, deeper channel even they grow away the polish away later it's still the deeper part will left down this surface so this is the surface you see here see the line this is the use of wire to grow open the jade block to shave it into the sh this shape from the first step 
uh, this method only used on eastern side of uh, China in the ancient time. And when you go to the western side, of the deeper, um, when we reach Hongshan, when we reach, sorry, Longshan period, uh, I will show you more example. They tend, they don't use a wire any, anymore. They use a, a stone slab or a copper. So the line, you don't see this rounded curve, it's a straight. That's the way they use to cut off the um, jade block. Left a totally different kind of tool mark, which is very important. You know the tool marks of uh, each uh, now lesser culture or different dynastic culture we will go through them you know the technology they were using back at that time to identify how this jade was made because back then they don't have this kind of a tool mm. it just ask the questions get a basic uh, um, standing point, point that you can grab on, um, keep on asking questions, you really can get in there in no time. The reason people don't see Asian the jade, they just think, oh, who and who said uh, oh, there's a market full of uh, copy, modern things. Um, we give out our powerful tool of our thinking to believe someone you think is an expert. Who and who said that's full of 90% of market was a reproduction, is a, a fake, is their opinion. Yes, that's agreed. Uh, you trust the uh, auction house, trust uh, their name. You only buy from auction house, uh, that's a grid. Uh, you trust your um, dealer and trust their eyes, that's a grid. That's all good starting point. But at the, the end, I think we have the thinking power inside us. We all can think, we all can figure out the things. Why we don't think it for ourselves instead of listen to um, the so-called opinions on the world. Um, even you buy every piece from auction house, auction house, you don't think about it for yourself. I think probably very likely you won't get it because this word, um, you just have to think for yourself, ask a question and dig out on your own. This is, um, the journey we learn jade that's also i think is the journey to um, open up our ability of thinking the power we have inside us um, that's i think is worth uh, worth us spend some time to explore no matter which field you are in the thinking is a such a um, crucial part of no matter which kind of area you are in mm, that what i think you see the holes how they made uh, all match the um, they grow the in the knowledge we already have. Mm. It's a straightforward, uh, tiny piece, but it gave us a lot of information. And uh, I hope through this jade journey, uh, you can 
discover the treasure within yourself, the power of thinking, the power of asking questions, and go deeper. I hope you enjoy today's video. I will see you next time.